What is up, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? So, if you didn't hear, if you live under a rock, Danger Boy Deegan, Hayden Deegan, is now signed with Star Racing Yamaha. He's gone from... I don't know if he's going to be a pro. I don't know when he's starting actually racing. If it's going to be the Supercross season. If it's going to be the Motocross season. That I don't know. But I do know he signed a multi-year deal with probably one of the best teams you could be on right now. Um, with, you have Ferrandis winning the 450s. you got Cooper looking super fast on the 250s. You now have Tomac joining them on the 450 team. They're stacked. And then you add Deegan, who is probably one of the best highly sought talents you could probably say coming out of the, the amateur ranks right now with all the championships he's won with how fast he's looked on the super minis and the 125s and whatever the question is how is he going to step that from the small bikes amateur racing to the big bikes pro racing you know is it going to be dominance is he going to just carry it right on through or is it going to kind of be one of those like you know, Michael Essie, super good in amateur range, and then just nothing once he becomes a pro. But that's yet to be seen, obviously, because he's still young. If everything goes, he still probably has 10, 15 years of racing. Who knows? That's not to be decided right now or not. Um, personally, I think he's probably going to be fast. It might take a while to transition to be one of the, you know, the lead guys. But with... All the racing he's done as a kid, he's proven that he can win. He has the mentality to win. He has the father who, you know, while he didn't race, still has the mentality to win. Um, I think it's a really cool thing. I mean, obviously, being everyone knew he was this is what was going to happen. Didn't know the team, didn't know where he was going to go, but obviously, being how, how explosive he's been in an amateur raid, he was going to get one of the best rides you could possibly find. Now, Jumping from the KTM to a Yamaha, how that's, how that's going to affect, who knows. Um, but it is what it is. I'm super excited to see where this goes. Uh, tell me in the comments down below, do you think he's going to do good? Do you think he's going to do bad? Do you hope he does good? Whatever it is. But just tell me what you think. And yeah, news over. I mean, there's not much to say about this. He's, he signed, he's probably started training, or he started training a couple of days here and there probably. But I mean, nothing's happened, so there's not really much to say about it, just... It's big news for a big name amateur to be going to, obviously, a full ride factory team now. So, again, tell me what you think. Comment down below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.